putting together this tank chassis that I bought off eBay for about $80. So, what I liked about it is it has um, molded plastic tracks that are already assembled. It came with two brushed motors, a crap ton of little screws and bolts. Part of the reason I'm making this video, we're gonna kind of find our way through this. And I originally was gonna print this. It on my printer chassis, and yeah. So here are all the little wheels that go with it. And you know, it's it's got just a crap ton of plastic, so. I'm going to start by removing all this plastic. It would have been nice if they would have done that. But I guess then it might have shown up scratched. Yeah, who cares? Really looks like this is done on a on a um, CNC router and then bent after it's cut. I'm gonna strip this and then I'll turn the camera back on. There's no point in making you guys watch me pull all this plastic off. What well, seemed like forever getting all this little blue crap off these things. Um, yeah, they really should have removed the film before they cut this, and it it clearly shows that it was cut by um, some sort of a CNC device. So having no instructions makes this more challenging than it deserves to be. So I think that's kind of how it lays out. Um, and what I'm thinking is that it's gonna look like this. So, now, let's get into this bucket of fun. Wow. Yeah, I have no freaking clue how this is supposed to go together. So, let me pull up the eBay listing. The eBay seller might as well have been called Thanks Sucker because there are no instructions. And that makes this marginally more difficult than it deserves to be. So, let me Google Google see what I can come up with. I managed to figure out that uh, these are basically called a TS. 100 um, or this is probably a TS-80. A TS-100 is a little bit bigger. But anyway, um, so each little wheel assembly requires five of these and ten of these and um, let's see and then um, I don't know. I'll figure the rest of it out. So let me start putting this together and uh, I'm going to use some Loctite or Harbor Freight's equivalent of it and um, let me put one of these together and I'll be back. We're going to put a little drop here and I'm going to assemble this sort of this way and just kind of work my way around. Loctite's probably not great strictly required but I find with anything mechanical that it will stay together a lot longer if you put Loctite on it. Now 
this looks like there's six of these little things in here. So we're going to go ahead and fill them up because that's what I think needs to happen. thing that bothers me is I really don't know what's going to hold this wheel in. Um, so let me look at this a little bit more. these together except maybe this and that would make sense yeah that would work all right oh, I'm okay with this so next what we're gonna do is just start putting this together if has a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle feel to it. not worried about getting them tight right now I just want to get them with some Loctite on them and put them in here and I will come back in a second and uh, tighten them So that side's tight. Now let's do this side. Thank you. 
bound that one of these would be difficult. There we go. So that's one wheel. Oh, it looks awfully overbuilt. I think three of those would be enough. But anyway, let me um, let me see what I've got here, and um, I will come back after I get some. Yeah, it is three per. So I'll I'll take three of these off at some point when I figure out what they're for. Um, I am going to start with the drive wheels, and this is known as a TS100, um, so no big deal there. And I've looked at enough pictures to figure out that, yeah, it's three, which is good, because that's not nearly as difficult to put together as six would be. side and it looks like the drive wheels are put together like this coupling is supposed to go in here. That ain't happening. Well, it might if I had the right parts together here, so... There is a little bit of an alignment issue here. So what I'm gonna do is um, give myself some wiggle room.
And now I'm going to tighten this up and Alright, so there's that. That's one put together. Now these are going to go in here and let's see what goes in this end. Not that, but that, and maybe this. I won't see what that would do. So there's my drive wheel. It sure looks funky. So there it is. So you can see here that uh, there is some misalignment between the parts, but the rest of it appears to line up. So that's what I'm looking for. Although, I think so there is some kind of a keying here going on. All right, so there is an inside and outside to these things. That's lovely. And I'm willing to bet you I've got that one on backwards. So anyway, you need to put the screws in these. And again, there is an inside and an outside to these things. Um, so that will make it go together better. And then, yeah, that looks symmetrical which is what we're aiming for.
All right. So now you can see these are symmetrical. I'm going to wind up with some rework, more rework than I'd like. But let me get this uh, taken apart and fixed. These are in the wrong spot, so we'll go ahead and take this end apart. And just what I think we need to do is flip it over, and we're going to have to hold it to get it apart. expect is for this to just go together yep just fine other than the fact that this is just difficult for my hands All right, now that seems like it's going together a lot better.
Alright, so now I've got that back together and I'm going to go ahead and put some of these together and I'll come back on camera after that's done. You got to watch it. The uh, edges of these things are sharp. So I want to show you from start to finish how I'm doing these wheels. I figured out the most efficient way to do it. So gather my little three pieces. Now I need my six uh, screws. So find all these. Here's three, four, five, and six. My pile is getting smaller. It feels like I'm making progress. Um, again, you want to use the, so I'm using the solid connectors um, just because I think that that's um, a little stronger. And I have zero faith in what looks like aluminum, but could be really anything. So I'm going to hold it like this. And of course, this one's going to give me grief. There it goes. Just a little burr in there somewhere. All right. And then I'm going to put the next screw in here. A little bit of thread locker. <laughs> you know, I did all these with no problems. And now this one's going to give me a little bit of grief, but no big deal. And then the third one goes in here. And you want to just get these finger tight. I mean, the tighter the better. So right now what I'm going to do is set it down and I'm going to line this one up on top of it and just set it there for the moment. <clears throat> Now I'm going to put thread locker on here and what I'm going to do is hold this down with one finger and start it with the other. I found that to be the least hassle and we'll just rotate this a little bit. Do the same thing here. And you don't want to get these all the way tight until you get all three of them in because sometimes you need to wiggle the plate in order to get the screws in. It's, it's primarily that second one. Now you do want to finger tighten them all. That will save you hassle later. And again, when you hold it like this, watch out because those edges are sharp. They bite. Now what I'm going to do is put the, the pliers through two of them and I'm just going to snug these with a wrench or Allen key in this particular case. I should be able to do this third one. No, that's not going to let me do that. So now I'll go ahead and flip it over and take advantage of the fact that I've got it gripped. how I'm putting them together that's the last of the eight now I've got the two end ones to put together same same basic process so let me do those and I'll be back or you want to gather all your screws together one two three four five and six sweep all that crap back over there till we know what it's for and there's only three holes in this one so it makes it a lot easier to figure out which ones you're going to use and interestingly the other one has six so I don't I don't know why they drilled extra holes in all these but it doesn't matter same as before just one screw at a time Do the same thing here. 
where are we? And as before, we're going to hold it with two and go ahead and tighten those down. And then I'm just going to flip it over so I don't have to reposition the wheel and the pliers. And then I'm going to keep track of where I'm at and go ahead and just, it's, it's easier to hold it by two. Flip it over. And crank it down. So there we go. Got all our wheels. And so what this looks like is this. That's that one. So that's one side. Let's put this cap back on. the other side. So now we've got to figure out how the rest of this goes together. So we'll set all that to the side and I'll be back in a minute. So next we've got to put the sub assemblies together and I'm pretty sure that goes there and then I think that goes there followed by this. Oh and they're threaded. How convenient. It just seems like it's too much way too much. I mean, that is kind of how it shows, but gosh, that seems like a whole lot. Let me look at the pictures. I don't see any other way to do this and these are all the same size so I'm gonna just start assembling them like this and see where this gets me if this isn't supposed to go in here like this because this would make a whole lot more sense uh, it doesn't fit so no it doesn't go in there but it would sure make more sense for this to be over here to act as a little bearing That makes sense to me.
All right, so that's four of them put together. Let me back these up and put a, a washer in here. These are going to need to be put in here reversed because they go on the other side. So you need to assemble half of them one way and half of them the other way. Insert this through here, put a spacer on, and a washer, and if you want this to go on one side, you hold it like this where this is down. If you want it to go the other way, it goes on the other side. So if you hold it like this, it'll assemble it one side. If you hold it like this, it'll assemble it the other side, and you need four of each. twist this until you can get a grab on the thread and then you can finish it from this side. Pretty sure we'll end up putting a bolt to, to snug that but I'm not doing it until I understand a little bit more. Alright, so... I believe this is the adjustment. <laughs> this is where the motors go. It's gotta be. It's just gotta be the way this works. Um, because there's no other way for this to work and then it's got all sorts of little mounting bolts up here for different Arduino or things and and it's, it's crooked but I, I don't really care at this point I'm not even going to mess with it so what I need to do is figure out how do these go I'm pretty sure that it goes just like this So, fairly certain that it's going to be something like this. That's not big enough, but that is. And this is where you'd want to use a washer. So you'd want to do something like this. Are those threaded? I'll be damned they are, so I'm right. That is where that goes. And you'll want to put Loctite on these, so we'll go ahead and do that. Guessing that a nut is going to go on the back side of this to just secure this. Alright, so it's going to look a lot like that. And at this point, we'll go ahead and we'll set this. So we'll do 
that. And this goes back here. And then that will lock. And that's kind of how that works. Still needs uh, I'm gonna need a little wrench. I'll be right back. It's abusive, but it'll work. All right, so just gotta do that several dozen times. question is, would it be better to go this way instead? Yeah, we gotta figure out where these springs go. Because if they go here, yeah. That's backwards. Um, it's the right idea, but it's backwards. these locked in. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and set these. got six more to do. Alright, so we got our last couple of these to put together. So I'm putting the springs on as an assembly before they go on the body. Just figure it in. It does need to go on the same side as the wheel, otherwise you'll have clearance issues. And of course this one's going to be difficult because I'm filming, but whatever. And you want to turn this so that this is on the upper side when you finish tightening it. This design's not... These springs aren't supposed to be uh, mobile, so they wind up just a little bit on the pinch side once it's assembled. I am lock tightening them in because I'm pretty sure that there's not anything extra here. Um, and this will vibrate apart. So you just want to 
make sure that's on the upper side and then you can just snug it finger tight all right so next we we'll come back to here we got to figure out how this works so I'm not a hundred percent sure of anything um, so I think yeah that's that looks like it would be right and then this would go over here and get secured like that so I think that's I think that's what we're looking at so let's put some Loctite here and we'll get a little bolt and a nut these. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Trying to get this into here. Ow. Yes, this is going to be a pain in the ass. That's right. So then you need a nut on the back of this to hold it still as a jam nut. And then we'll just lock that down. Looks right. So it's easier to start at this end. feels like everything is the wrong side but that's okay and I think this would be easier to do like this so we'll go ahead and put this together for the axle bolt This winds up being a little bit on the tricky side, but I, I don't think it's the end of the world. So we'll get that started and then we'll snap that into place. starting to look like an assembly. Right. 
So we've got one side done with independent suspension. Although, frankly, it's backwards because it should be holding it down. Ah, I gotta figure out why that's going on. These are on backwards. It's the only thing I can figure out. So let me take one off and see if I turn it around if it'll it'll work better. Um, frustrated that I didn't notice that sooner, but you know, no instructions and the instructions I have don't exactly fit this, so it just kind of is what it is. side this is difficult to get apart so <laughs> that suggests it will stay together once I figure out how it's supposed to go together that'll pull. So we need a longer one. Yes, it's difficult to do this almost no matter what you do, but that will pull it forward, and that's the direction it needs to go. So let's put that back in there. This will be a pain in the butt again. are a little tighter than I would like, but I think this is right. Yeah, that'll actually give it support, and it'll spring back, so, yep, I've got them on the wrong side, so it's just extra work for me. took off. Let's test it on the other side. It's going to need a washer. Sorry you guys probably can't see this, but it is really difficult to balance all this stuff.
Yeah, that's right. So that is unfortunately the answer is I gotta undo the four that I've got together and put them on the wrong other side. At which point I think everything will work. Yeah, that's a bummer. All right, I'm putting the last of them back on this one side. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna double check everything. Like here, I've got one that's kind of bent, so I'm gonna bend it back in where it belongs. So that's that side. Let me just tweak this bolt here. Got three more to do here. This side is a little bit trickier to do. And I'm basically holding it between my legs in order to keep stuff still. And then I'm sort of fixing the tension as I kind of bring everything into alignment. These screws get snugged. This one gets backed off, snug and then back off a little bit. That way it'll pivot. And from start to finish, put this in, put this on this side, line up our second screw, and then we'll Loctite this hole for the spring and this hole for the, the axle. it and you want to just get that started because it's a whole lot easier to do this spring when there's no tension on it or less tension and then at this point you can rotate this one and I don't like to do to what's happened to that spring so I'll go ahead and loosen this so that it can get itself aligned and I'm bringing the axle or pivot bolt in again all the way and then back it off just a little bit so all the way back off a little bit go ahead and tighten that down and tighten this down all right so now what we got to do is put the lock or jam nuts in so let me do that
then you want to check these and if they're too tight you can just kind of back these out just a little bit doesn't take much maybe eighth of a turn and then you can see here these aren't completely um, in line so I'm just gonna bend them so they are in line some of them are even crooked Good enough. So now what we gotta do is uh, figure out how these work. Now, my guess is that this is gonna go in here somewhere like that, but that's our tensioner. So we're gonna hold off on that. And what we wanna do instead is look at this. And that's going to go in like this. So, let me get these set up. And they're kind of a pain in the butt to, to mount. So, we want to definitely get the thread lock in here. Because these are going to be subject to a fair amount of vibration. hear my cat in the background yelling at me for not going to bed yet. Oh, you're not in the background anymore. That is squeaky for those of you who are curious and I think we're going to have a little bit of a fit issue. <laughs> So I can get this in here, but it's going to cause issues with my contacts on the back. And I don't know if I can solder that like that, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in anyway. So let me find the screws. There's one. There's two. So these are in and I'm going to have to solder these connectors. Let's see if we can kind of bend them out of each other's way. Yeah, that'll be a pain in the butt to solder in there. But that is how they go. And then there are some little teeny tiny set screws that go on here. Yeah, that ain't happening. Well, maybe it will. So I got one to turn. There we go. Alright. So there are my little tiny set screws. And basically what we want to do is put... one on here and then definitely want thread locker on this because you will lose these so fast 
it's not funny. And you just crank it down. One, that's two, and where are the set screws for this? Surprisingly, there's actually some extra hardware on this thing. That's a good thing, because I just lost that one. Let me see if I really lost that or not. All right, got it back. But this is the kind of thing that's really easy to lose. I have no idea what size it is, other than it's metric and it's tiny. It probably cost five dollars if I tried to order it by itself. The only thing I've got left to do is back here with these. And let me check the instructions real quick. All right, so they show going in the upper, which is there. It will require a second washer, and then it's gonna need a couple of these bolts. And of course, they're gonna need Loctite. Tight it for the second. We'll get this one in. Slide these forward. I don't know why this one's being wonky. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's see how this goes. let you guys see what I'm doing so basically you want to start it at the track at the drive and you want to just kind of rotate it on Okay, so at that point it's on. Now we need to tension it. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to put our thumb there. This is not the way I would like it to tension, but it will work. Yeah, the instructions don't say anything about it. Yeah, I think that's probably good right there. So what I'm going to do is just turn this and... is good but I just I don't think the tension mechanism is well designed but you know hopefully it won't be under a lot of tension that'll act as a jam nut and now what we gotta do is this side Thank you. 
moves, so. Alright. It does need to drive forward because it's it sort of slants in. So, but it's basically done and assembled and um, battery's gonna go under here at some point and I'll have to mount controls to it. But I'm, I'm happy with it and uh, I'll be telling you more about what this is actually for at a later point. So for now, this is the assembly. I gotta order motor controllers for this and um, get it set up. Thanks.